this is quite an unusual school service for us today because we're on video, we're not with you in person um, and we're actually making this video in St Martin's Church in Fly, which perhaps some of you haven't been in before and so you can see uh, the lovely cross that's behind me here. Well, our church schools in Rosseth and in Issachoid are named after saints. We have uh, St Peter and St Paul. And these are two of the earliest saints we find named in the Bible. And they were the leaders of what we call the early church. These two men were sent by Jesus to tell the whole world about God's love. And so are called apostles, which means people who've been sent. Father Dominic is now going to read a story for us from the Gospel, in which Jesus asks his disciples an important question, and only Peter gives the right answer. A reading from Matthew's Gospel. Jesus went to the territory near the town of Caesarea Philippi, where he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? Some say John the Baptist, they answered. Others say you're Elijah, while others say you're Jeremiah or some other prophet. But what about you, he asked them. Who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Good for you, Simon, son of John, answered Jesus, for this truth did not come to you from any human being, but it was given to you directly by my Father in heaven. And so I tell you, Peter, you are the rock, and on this rock I will build my church and not even death will be able to overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Thanks be to God. Okay. Well, one of the funny things about being a vicar, and they don't often tell you about this, is that it involves looking after lots of keys. Keys, like big bunches of keys like that, and that's only some of them. Now we've got some keys uh, for you to look at, and I wonder if you can guess what these particular four keys open. Well, how did you get on? Well, I'll tell you, what about this big key to start with? Can you guess what that one was? That one is for Christchurch in Rosset. It's a huge key, a Victorian key to open the door. We've got another one. This one, maybe uh, this is like one of the keys you have to open your own house or, uh, or shed or something like that. So that's a house key. What about this one? Well, that's the key for, for my car. Couldn't go very far without that. Certainly couldn't come to see you in Rosset and Issacoid. And last of all, we have this little key, which is quite an unusual one. I wonder if anybody got this. This is actually a key to one of our book cupboards in the church. So there we are. I wonder how many you got. Now in our reading, Jesus didn't give Peter an actual key. It means that Jesus was appointing Peter as a special leader who would lead many people to God. And Peter's often shown holding keys in paintings to remind people that Jesus gave Peter the job of building the church and teaching people all over the world about God. It means that Peter was given the task of opening the door to God so that people could start to follow Jesus. But over the last few weeks, we've been living in what we called lockdown, haven't we? Spending more time than ever behind closed doors. But the job that Jesus gave to Peter, Paul, and to all Christians is to be door openers and to tell others about God. And all of us can be door openers too, by showing people a way of love and kindness. We can open the door to happiness by our attitudes and the way in which we treat others. Let's think for a moment about 
who Peter and Paul were. Well, Peter was a fisherman and had no idea that he would one day be the leader of the early church. In the Bible, we read often stories about Peter getting things wrong and making mistakes. However, these mistakes didn't make Jesus think that Peter wasn't suitable for this important role. Rather, his mistakes helped Peter to learn how to be a better follower of Jesus. Then we look at Paul. Well, Paul, in many ways, was even worse. He actually hated Jesus and tried to stop people following him. Until one day, when he was walking to a place called Damascus, he experienced the love of Jesus and his life was completely changed. You see, all of us make mistakes. We sometimes do the wrong thing or say the wrong thing, but Jesus is always there to forgive us. He teaches us to learn from our mistakes and to move forward into the future. And so today is a really good day to think about how you can be a door opener, just like Peter and Paul how you can open a door for other people to experience God's love by doing something kind to make another person happy, perhaps. You can be the key to making someone else happy and helping them know God's love in their lives. Maybe you could pause this video now and talk about how you could open a door and show love and kindness to other people and then we'll gather back together and Father Hugh will lead us in a closing prayer. And so we now close our time together with a prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for stories from the past that teach us so much. Thank you that even though Peter and Paul made mistakes, you still had a great plan for their lives. Please help us to be door openers for other people. Help us to look for opportunities to include others. Help us to look for ways to help and to make people happy. Thank you that you promise to be with us in every moment of our lives, even though we are in lockdown. Help us to be the key to bring love and happiness to others. Amen. Amen.